This is chapter 5, Anxiety, Trauma, Stressor, Related, and OCD Disorders. The source of this information is from Abnormal Psychology 7th edition by Barlow and Durand. To begin with, anxiety is defined as a negative mood state characterized by physical tension symptoms such as anxiousness, fidgeting and unease, and physiological responses like elevated heart rate, muscle tension, etc. There is fear, an alarmed reaction to danger, which occurs through the autonomic nervous system, whereby the heart rate is increased and as a result increases blood pressure. Panic. Panic is the sudden overwhelming reaction one has when they are in fear. A panic attack is an abrupt experience of intense fear or acute discomfort with physical symptoms including heart palpitations, chest pain, shortness of breath and possible dizziness. Behavior inhibited systems or BIS are signals from the brainstem of when reacting to unexpected events. This changes bodily function and signals the possibility of danger occurring. The danger affects the cortex, septal hippocampal system and the amygdala. Generalized biological vulnerabilities are genetic inheritance of anxieties, but these don't explain causes that much. As in, the reasoning for these biological vulnerabilities are circular, such as for example, why are people scared of snakes? Well, because snakes have historically posed as a danger to people, and this posing of danger causes people to be afraid of snakes. Generalized psychological vulnerabilities. These come about when individuals develop in the world, and since the world is an anxious place, they're bound to develop certain anxieties. Generalized psychological vulnerability is too broad, however, and doesn't explain how they come about. Just like generalized biological vulnerabilities, the argument or reasoning for the origin of these vulnerabilities may be circular. Specific psychological vulnerabilities. These occur when individuals learn early on that certain stimuli are dangerous from their parents or peers. So for example, if a little child sees the mother react in a very negative way, like an angry face or shocked face to, or scared face to a rat or a, mu a mouse or cockroach, then the baby would learn and internalize that fear. Triple vulnerability theory is the integration of the above theories, as in of generalized biological, psychological and specific psychological vulnerabilities, allowing for the sensing of danger that causes panic. Another important term that we have to define is comorbidity, which is the co-occurrence of two or more disorders at the same time. This may be due to the fact that it triggers the same certain responses, or reactions, or mood state, etc, etc. Anxiety disorders are the grouping together of the many generalized and specific anxieties in order to form this criterion. Generalized anxiety disorder, or GAD, is a worry and anxiousness that occurs continually for at least six months where once an issue is over the sufferer moves on to the next crisis to worry about. Symptoms of this include muscle tension, mental agitation and fatigue. Treatment. Benzodiazepines are used but these have side effects such as decreasing alertness and causing individuals to become dependent on this drug. Another treatment is cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT whereby the individual learns to counteract the worry process. Panic disorders. These are when individuals experience severe and unexpected panic attacks, causing them to believe that they are losing control or dying. Another disorder of anxiety is agoraphobia, which is the fear or avoidance of situations deemed unsafe by the individual, causing some to be unable to leave their houses and having physical symptoms like loss of bladder control, etc. Panic control treatment, or PCT, are when patients are exposed to interoceptive or physical sensations that remind them of panic and through the use of meditation or cognitive therapy or exercise the individuals are then able to control these perceptions or attitudes that, that bring about the fear inducing trigger specific phobia is the irrational fear of certain objects or situations that interferes with normal functioning blood injection injury phobia is the fear that an individual would panic since they have a drop in blood pressure and this can produce fainting this is especially problematic when people, let's say, are getting their vaccines and a needle is used. The mere sight of a needle going in and extracting blood out may cause the individual to faint. Situational phobias is the fear of certain situations, such as, for example, claustrophobia, the fear of enclosed spaces. Natural environment phobias are when individuals are scared of situations that occur in nature like storms, water, heights, etc. Animal phobias is a fear of a certain animal or insect like uh, a spider, snake, etc. Separation anxiety disorder. This is when children have persistent worries that something will happen to them if they are not in the presence of their parents or important persons. And 
If you know from Ainsworth's study of attachment, this separation anxiety disorder may come about from overly attached children. Social anxiety disorder, sad, exaggerated shyness, being afraid of being seen as humiliated, embarrassed by others, symptoms, blushing, sweating, trembling. Selective mutism. When children are mute or shy in a certain situation, they have high comorbidity with a social anxiety disorder. This occurs for more than one month. Moving along, there is trauma or stressor-related disorders. These are separate disorders that develop after a certain traumatic or stressful life event. One such type of these disorders is post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. This is a disorder that continues after trauma, where the sufferer has continual memories or nightmares of said experience. Flashbacks causes intense emotions or panic. Catharsis is defined as reliving emotional trauma to relieve the emotional suffering or angst that exists. Imaginal disorders. The content of trauma and emotions associated with it are worked through systematically and individuals try to focus on where the blame lies on, let's say, the cause of a certain said issue of trauma. Attachment disorders are disturbed and developmentally inappropriate behaviors in children. So yeah, this is definitely going back to Ainsworth, Ainsworth Strange Situation Study. This occurs in children who are greater than five years old and the child is unable or unwilling to form normal attachment relationships with their caregivers. The cause of this may be due to inadequate or abusive child rearing practices. Reactive attachment disorders. The child rarely seeks out the caregiver for protection, nurturance, and support. They have heightened emotions like intense sadness, as in the child that is, and fearfulness. This inhibited social engagement theory is the early persistent harsh punishment on the child which causes them to show no inhibition to an adult. For example, the child may go around with strangers despite not checking with the caregiver first. Obsessive compulsive disorder. This is brought about by Hopelessness, which strives individuals to perform persistent rituals. There are four types of OCD. There are symmetry obsession, which is wanting perfect order, forbidden thoughts or actions, like swearing uncontrollably, and cleaning or contamination and hoarding. Obsessions are defined as intrusive, nonsensical thoughts, images or urges that individuals try to resist. Compulsions are defined as thoughts or actions used to suppress obsessions and provide relief. Body dysmorphic disorder is centered on imagined defects in appearance by someone who looks normal but they suffer from an imagined ugliness. This may contribute or bring about things like anorexia. Trichotillomania is the urge to pull out hair in any part of the body resulting in hair loss, distress and social impairment. And finally the last word of this video I'm defining is excoriation. The repetitive or compulsive picking of skin leading to tissue damage. So in summary, I looked at anxiety, trauma, stressor, related disorders, and obsessive compulsive disorders. I defined terms spanning from anxiety, fear, panic, panic attacks, behavior, inhibition systems, generalized biological vulnerabilities, generalized psychological vulnerabilities, specific psychological vulnerabilities, triple vulnerability theory, comorbidity, anxiety disorders, generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, agoraphobia, panic control treatment, specific phobia, blood injection injury phobia, situational phobias, claustrophobia, natural environment phobias, animal phobias, separation anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, selective mutism trauma or stressor related disorders, post traumatic stress disorders, ephasis, imaginal disorders, attachment disorders, reactive attachment disorders, disinhibited social engagement disorders, obsessive compulsive disorders, obsessions, compulsions, body dysmorphic disorders, trichotillomania, and excoriation. Thanks for watching and join me next time for a review of chapter 6, somatic symptoms and related disorders and dissociative disorders. Thanks for watching.